Hello there and welcome to your Thursday morning forecast. Well, today the key feature of the weather will be the wind. Strong gusts, particularly around lunchtime into the afternoon across eastern England, Northumberland, uh, northern parts of Yorkshire in particular, and gales likely for Scotland. Rain or drizzle pretty much anywhere, but certainly to the south we are seeing that thick cloud producing low, low misty cloud and some rain and drizzle. So poor visibility, particularly on the high routes and could cause some problems with some airports. You can see it just tracking towards London through the morning. This area of heavy rain, central and northern areas of Scotland, pushing up towards the northern Isles with showers to follow. Strong winds here, gale force winds for a time. Gusty winds certainly as the wind blows over the highlands and a similar situation for Pennine districts. Northumberland, as I said, East Yorkshire, North Yorkshire, Tyne and Weir, County Durham, seeing those strong and gusty winds could cause problems on the roads, the A66, perhaps even the A1. It's a relatively mild day, but it's going to be a bit of a gloomy one across England and Wales with low cloud and patchy drizzle just coming and going through the day. Bit of a clearance coming in for Northern Ireland, the central belt of Scotland, southern parts of Scotland, but here we will continue with that very strong westerly wind. So through Thursday evening and overnight, those showers continue for a time, perhaps a little bit of snow over the highest ground before thickening cloud brings outbreaks of rain yet again to western and southern parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland. The rain then will sink down towards northern counties of England through the early hours of Friday morning. We could see the odd moderate burst. So again, we could see a lot of surface water on the roads. Certainly the land is saturated. It's not going to take much for those water levels to rise and cause problems on surfaces. And some rain arriving across the western side of Wales as well as the West Country and again here lots of low cloud. It's going to be a breezy end to the night, colder air to the north of that rain band with some showers and that's where the coldest air will be first thing on Friday morning. A cloudy and mild start to the day across England and Wales, central and eastern areas of England seeing drier skies but again the odd spot of two drizzle can't be ruled out and then this weather system through Friday morning will gradually sink down towards these parts. So we watch through the first part of Friday, as you can see, the more intense bursts coming in across northern counts of England. And then Wales seeing some heavy rain around mid-morning, pushing towards the Midlands. Uh, Lincolnshire seeing a little bit of patchy rain. Then it's Cornwall, Devon, Somerset and Dorset seeing that rain. Central southern England for a time. We will see a bit of a clearance coming in across Northern Ireland, southern Scotland. But for northern England, particularly the northwest of England and Pennine districts, a lot of cloud here and also some patchy rain. Strong winds for the western side of Scotland, clearer skies towards the east though, you may even see a glimmer of sunshine through Friday afternoon, but frequent showers towards the west and a few showers just pushing across on that breeze for Northern Ireland. Temperatures then, well 13 could be a high towards the south elsewhere, 8 to 11 degrees Celsius. We are stepping out on Friday evening. That rain and drizzle remains towards the south of England. Still rather cloudy across the west country. Clearer skies for northern England, northern parts of Wales. And then we continue to see a feed of those showers moving in across the north and the west of Scotland and moving across Northern Ireland as well. Strong winds here, gusty winds, particularly over the hills of England and further south. Yes, that cloud and rain just continues, but it will clear off the scene. You can see that cold front moving towards the near continent. A squeeze on the ice bars into Saturday morning with that low pressure system here. So again, gales are likely strong gusts, particularly to the lee of higher ground. And we will see some showery bits and pieces through Saturday. However, this ridge on Saturday night will bring with it some quieter conditions, some drier weather but also the risk of a frost in the north before more rain arrives on Sunday. The winds then pick up some strength through Sunday nights. If you are travelling into Monday morning, please stay tuned to the forecast because we'll likely see some very strong winds associated with this area of low pressure. All in all, the weather remains fairly unsettled with rain or showers, but it does settle down through next week. Bye-bye.